So you, my friend, are not getting bail. Oh my God. And because of the brutal assault of your victim, we're going for a minimum of 10 to 15 years. Don't you got a man? No, Zach. I have you. Who are you, though? Like, I'm Heather. And this is your son. I got to get a DNA test. I ain't the only thing you need to get tested. I want you. <sighs> right here. Right now. You know, I made a, a meme a couple days ago that's been doing pretty well on uh, Twitter, Instagram, uh, the Sisters Facebook group, and the community tab on uh, YouTube. Zach probably had a lot on his mind during the last episode. And, you know, I got a screen grab of one of the, the great faces he made outside of his house when he was being, like, double teamed and then triple teamed by uh, Heather, Karen, and Fatima. And... I just made like a bunch of different thought bubbles, if you will, or thought captions around his head. Like, uh, I should have left ATL the second I got this money. Why did I answer that damn door? I should have gotten in the tub with Fatima. Yeah, that is pretty interesting because if he got into the tub with Fatima instead of, you know, just being walking around the house or whatever, he would have never answered the door for Karen. Now, who knows how long Karen would have been out there knocking. It would have been like, you know, Fred Flintstone at the end credits of the Flintstones after he gets locked out of the house. Wilma! Wilma! And then, like, the entire neighborhood cuts the lights on. Um, Heather never would have stopped because, remember, the only reason she stopped, hey, I was going to stop by tomorrow morning, but I saw you standing outside right now. So there's a good chance that just climbing in the tub would have prevented a lot of issues. Um, they're going to start calling me Nick Cannon with all these baby mamas. Where were all these women when I was broke? Jail was less stressful than all this foolishness. And a lot of people's favorite one, I can't wait for my spinoff so I can get away from these people. But it seems to me, based on what we do know of the Zatima spinoff, um, while some characters might not be in Zatima season one, I'm willing to bet that some of the troubles and new ones will present themselves in Zatima, um, not just in Sisters. But the reason I'm doing this video is the fact that, Mr. Perry, could you please let Zach catch a break? One of the reasons I praise Zatima is because Zach and Fatima aren't a perfect couple. They go through ups and downs. But the problem is when the downs outweigh the ups, and I get it. For every yin, there's a yang. For every, you know, positive, there's a negative. For every up, there's a down, left or right. You know what I mean. You, you know what I'm getting at here. You got to go through the bad to fully appreciate the good. I get that. But when there are just so many blows that Zach has been taking this season from jail to, you know, just the harassment from Karen, Hayden, it's just not... Can we please just have one or two episodes? At this point, I'm just begging for one where we actually see Zach able to enjoy his new life, his new money, his new home, and his new woman. I'd love that. Because the nonstop troubles that keep knocking on his door, it's making some Zatima fans disgruntled, and I can see why. Season 4 of Sisters, when you think about it, had this humongous stretch where Zack and Fatima were separated. Whether because one or the other was in jail, and, you know, when they finally did see each other, it was in, like, the jail, like, uh, visiting room. And even then, you know, fans, we didn't want to see that for too long. And to think that these two couldn't even fully enjoy their first full night in their new home. Because keep in mind, the whole Kether, uh, excuse, not the, uh, see, I almost combined their names. Karen and Heather, the whole that, you know, them popping up at the house and Tony calling Zach. If memory serves, this is all happening in the same day that Zach finally got out of jail thanks to Robin. So... To think that Zach showed Fatima this new home, invited her to live with him, and she said yes, they can't enjoy just one night together without any kind of outside interruption. But no, we got even more drama. Fatima's feeling some kind of way about Zach again, out of nowhere. And now we got to go into the finale with this mess. I'd re Well, I'm not going to just say I, but we, as a fan base, would really love if you could just kind of 
lighten the load from Zack just a little. Give some of these issues to the other characters, mainly the women. That way it makes their storylines a bit more interesting. Like, okay, how are we going to see like um danny deal with this issue or sabrina well i feel like sabrina she's about to go through a lot of shit that she didn't even sign up for and that's why i feel bad for her because sabrina has kind of been like an afterthought for most of the season finally give her a better love interest in calvin finally you know aside from jacoby and now she's about to be locked up because of maurice's foolishness so with all the trouble and baggage and whatnot you're giving to zach I i'm not even going to say zatima but to zach Tyler can kind of divvy it up and give these different story beats to the other characters. That way, when we see them on screen, there's something that we're actually intrigued or interested in them trying to make it through. But that's just me. So please, I know you're filming Zatima season two this week, I believe, and it's already written and whatnot. And unless somebody from the Zatima team watches this video in, you know, time, you can be like, hey, man, uh, you know, this guy did a video. Is it possible you can give Zach a little less issue? Because, ba again, based off what we do know of Zatima Season 1 and Summer Season 2, Zach's troubles are still going to continue. And I, I feel like we can all just use a breather. If you could just make, like, a special episode where Zach and Fatima are relaxing, that would be nice. But if there's anybody who deserves it, it is definitely him. But I don't know. Let me, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. I feel like I'm not just speaking for myself here. But... I do appreciate the support on the channel. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button to show you liked the video. Hit subscribe. Hit that bell icon and select all. That way you don't miss out whenever I post content on the channel. And uh, that's really about it. I'll catch you in the next video.